Hello guys, this is Gabriel Roberts with Roberts Bushcraft. Out here on the uh, beautiful Roanoke River. We're doing about a 15 mile float and we're gonna stop halfway and camp out. Stay tuned and uh, follow us on our journey. Let's see if I can get, I don't know if I can get through there without turning over. The kayak that I'm in is too small for me, especially with the gear that we've got. So it makes uh, getting through these places like this really hairy. I've got to go pretty quick. It doesn't turn me around as fast. I don't run into anything. fight that current. I don't hit this tree over here. Looks like I made it through. Alright. And it picks me right back up. <laughs> wants to turn me over. Uh, there's a nice creek going through that way to our left. I don't want to run into this trussel here. Trussel column. What do you think? No need for shave right now? Well, I closed the umbrella up because we were going through all the branches and stuff I didn't want it to get caught up on anything and get broken but uh once we come back out of in this clearing I think I'm gonna open it back up actually right here is probably a good spot all right so we've had to break out the uh, umbrellas I've had to break out mine and this floating this river on a 95 degree day sunny it's tough out here but it's very nice it is nice. The umbrellas, especially this, I actually got this at Dunham's. It's a chair umbrella. Well, the, uh, I think the uh, name of it was a chair umbrella. Chair umbrella. So, something sure. like that was on the packaging. But um, it works really well. Just connected it up to an old tent pole, ran it down the side of my fabric that goes on my uh, seat, and tied it to this little eyelet with some paracord. And the uh, same thing on the other side. And it just kind of keeps it over my head a little bit. Even though the uh, actual umbrella is off to the side. So it works out pretty nice. The only thing about this though is this paracord gets in the way when I'm paddling. So I either have to go under the paracord or go over the paracord. Either way, it's going to be awkward. So um, next thing that I'm going to do is build me a rack on the back of this thing. So I can just set the umbrella down in the middle of it and have it right on top of me where it's not going to be in my way and I can paddle freely. So that's kind of coming up next. But I'm all in all very impressed. Keeping the sun off my face and it's, it's working great. All right guys, we just arrived at our campsite. We uh, actually were paddling down the river, looking on the right side of the river well, to us the uh, right side as we were paddling down because we had picked out a spot on Google Maps that we wanted to go to. Well, we ended up not really paying attention to the maps too much and actually passing our spot. Now, to be honest, there was no easy way to get up into the spot that we were thinking about. You'd have to kind of pull up on the uh, bank here and all the banks are like straight drops, straight drop offs. So Of clay. It's, it's clay. <laughs> yeah, so there's really no easy way to get up on it. So, uh, we actually found this spot as we we're passing by. And you see there's a nice channel right here that you can just pull the kayak right up in. 
grab hold of a tree and get out. Really nice spot. It's very calm through here compared to the uh, fast moving water out there. Just a nice spot. This is about as nice of a camping spot as we could imagine out here. Yuko candle lantern. With the citronella candle. We're going to test out and see how well it works on these uh, Riverside mosquitoes tonight. This is a piece that I made that covers up the glass. That way I can burn it all night long and not be bothered by the light. Going with the climate sleeping mat tonight. And rather than using the uh, rain fly that came with the Katoma, I'm going to use my Fire Force tarp so that I can maximize any wind flow that we're gonna get. It is very hot and steamy. Where we are, right by this river, is very humid. So, I'm gonna use that to try and maximize airflow. In my opinion, you should always bring some sort of protection while in the woods. Smith & Wesson 9mm, full size. 17 plus 1 capacity. Okay, guys. Fishing worms. Well, actually, they're earthworms, but we're going to use them as fishing bait. I'll show you how easy they are to find right here. This is a very rich environment right here. Just really all I do is scrape across the ground. And look. There they are. They're right on the surface here. And these guys do not want to be caught. So, but they are everywhere. And they're going back into the ground there. But, like I said, rich environment. All you have to do is just really scrape across the ground, and there they are. Gifts of the Roanoke River. <laughs> All right. All right, folks, what we got tonight for dinner, we're doing a beef stew. This is no ordinary beef stew. This is a, no, this is just a can of okra and corn and kind of a tomato-based sauce. And uh, we got this from the dollar store along with everything else that we're going to be cooking tonight. Dad chose to freeze his can of okra and corn. I ended up just bringing the can along with me because I have a uh, can opener on my multi-tool. We got a ton of these dollar store ribeyes. They're real thin, so you got to have a lot to actually amount to anything. But uh, we got a couple of them. Let's see. Well, let's actually see how many we did get. Ooh, some of them are starting to thaw out. That's good. That's what we wanted them to do. Like this one here on the bottom is nice and thawed out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight bucks for eight little ribeyes. <laughs> now, guys, honestly, we didn't really think these things were going to tastes very good you know any better than you know basically we don't have very high hopes for these steaks just because of the fact that they are dollar store steaks but mixed in with some beef stew seasoning and you know the okra and corn i think it's going to turn out pretty good i don't see how it wouldn't so
Okay, guys. Dollar Store ribeye steaks. Very thin, but we actually tried one after we kind of browned it up a little bit over the flame. And it, it really doesn't taste bad at all, guys. Now, of course, there's no seasoning on it straight out of the dollar store. But, I Season mean. that yourself. Exactly. Yep. Okay, dollar store beef stew. <laughs> How about that? Completely dollar store. Completely. Like every, all the ingredients inside. Dollar store, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give it a try. That's the okra. I actually never had that before, so that's going to be neat to see. Got the tomatoes, and uh, corn is actually under that steak. So we're going to try it all right now. Just came out of the pot, nice and hot. <laughs> That's good. pretty good. Man, bad. Now, the uh, mix that we put in there came from the dollar store, too. It was McCormick beef stew mix. Now, we normally use my wife's beef stew mix, but decided to go ahead and do the McCormick route because it was easy. A dollar in a pouch, ready to go. So, But overall, that's actually very good. We forgot potatoes. We sure did. Mm, we had onions. some uh, small potatoes at home that we were going to cut up and put in this, but... uh. Left my home. Oh, well. Can't win it all, right? Have to do it next time. There you go. But, uh, yeah, very good. Very good. All right, let's pray and then we eat. All right. I'm using the AquaQuest Defender in the diamond configuration just to get the maximum amount of coverage under or over top of the Skeeter Breeder Pro. As you can see. Have the uh, bug net up tonight. Of course, I want to keep all the mosquitoes away. That's my little system. Over here on this tree, I have my, oh, well, I got my Crocs there on the ground. Along with my little hygiene kit, which is about to be packed back up. Citronella candle in my Yuko candle lantern. Just did the uh, initial burn on that a few moments ago. And, uh, to get it ready for the night. But before that, show off Dad's little uh, setup here. Got the Katoma bed net. Fire Force tarp. Gotta love that Fire Force tarp. Gotta love that Fire Force tarp. And I brought my little hammock for sitting. So very nice. And the mosquitoes are thick around here today. Yes, big time. Once we got the fire started, they actually cleared out quite a quite a good amount. He's using the three day assault bag as well. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a USMC three day assault, part of the Philby system. So for anybody that hasn't ever seen that before, we we both use those. And we have a link to a review that Gabriel did. We'll put it up in a card here. And a link, to, uh, link in the description box below. There you go. So make sure to click on that link and check that out, guys. Sentinel 120 XR is what I'm using. USS Boog-1701. This side, it's getting a little tore up, but uh, I'll have to replace that at a later date. I removed my seat, and this is one of the awesomest things. You can take the seat right out of this kayak and go lay it on the ground. Or wherever you want to. You'll notice there's mine right there. Because it has that aluminum frame on it, you can sit on the ground with it without having to uh, worry about getting it all tore up. It's very nice. Here's Dad's kayak, Sun Dolphin, that he's borrowing from my cousin, actually. So thank you, Cody, for allowing us to use that. Guys, it is 4th of July weekend, so we are repping the USA, red, white, and blue. Gotta love it. So 
so there you have it folks we're gonna go swimming a little bit not out there in that rough stuff but right here in this little cove and we're gonna be tied off so you know we're not we're not gonna go floating anywhere we're gonna also gonna paddle out and tie the kayaks off so we'll be nice and secure but there you have it folks just a wonderful evening on the Roanoke River All right, folks, it is morning time on the Roanoke. I had a horrible night's sleep last night. Sleeping on the ground generally does not bother me. However, I didn't have a proper pillow. And that just made the night horrible. Try as I may, I had shirts balled up in there. I had towels balled up in there. And nothing just seemed to work but i did sleep just wasn't the best sleep in the entire world that katoma works as advertised i could hear the mosquitoes buzzing around me all night long trying to get to me but couldn't i love it got a little coffee going this morning in the uh, stanley french press love this kit Now, after about four minutes of brewing, I'll put that in there. And it's easier for this to go in when it's got a little moisture on it, when it's a little wet there. It doesn't seem to stick. Now let's see if we can see that. Look at that beautiful coffee. Hot dog. I love it. This is a wonderful kit. All right, we're going to check out this muffin. See if it's uh, anywhere near done. Oh, we're getting there. A little more heat on the top. Starting to brown good on the sides. I forgot my butter. So it may end up burning just a little bit on the bottom. But uh, it's, yeah, it's getting there. I'm going to put that back on, put a little more heat on the top. Give it a few more minutes. Butterfly handles make it really easy to put uh, coal up here. Uh, 
Okay, it's been a few minutes. We're going to check this out. I can smell it. And again, I can smell it baking and not burning. So it's a good indication that I'm getting a pretty good cook going. Try and save some of these coals because Gabriel's going to make his muffin here in just a second. Uh, a little more heat on top. Well, actually, hang on. Hang on, that's not a bad looking muffin. I can see where it's burning around the sides because I didn't add my butter. Forgot my butter. Can't believe I forgot my butter. So let's check this out. Put that down and get this glove off. And get my spork here. Yep, stuck to the bottom. Doesn't look like it burned though. Let me see if I can get that out. <clears throat> yeah, didn't burn. Just kind of stuck down there. So, all right, win. <laughs> Breakfast is served. Look at that. It is done. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put yours in there. All right, guys, we're packing up. We're going to head out of uh, camp here. Really, really neat place. Jurassic Park size mosquitoes. Worms as long as your arm. <laughs> it's a neat spot. And they're readily available. So we're going to be coming back to this place a lot. We're going to be back to that spot. Folks, one thing I'm already noticing is uh, I'm actually sometimes catching this lip of the uh, umbrella or this edge here with the uh, tip of my paddle. So I'm definitely going to have to build a rack on the back just to hang this thing up on so I don't have to run any cords or anything. This was kind of last minute. I found it in Dunham's and I just decided that I wanted it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to kind of make this a little more <laughs> solid. Yeah. But uh, for the time being, it works pretty good. Yeah, sun's out of your face. So. That's right. And that's what that's really what counts. Yep. That's right. All right. This, well, it's broken off. Yep, it just snapped. Probably when they, maybe when they started running water fast. Hard to say, exactly. Long Who knows? An eight-mile marker, so. Four rivers, something. Huh. Four rivers road, regional paddle trail system. I wonder where that came from. Huh. I've never heard of that. Uh... That's neat. <laughs> I've never heard of that. So uh, huh. we're going to take this out with us, put in the trash maybe. Well... It was mile number eight. Hey, if anybody in the comments knows where that Four Rivers Road Regional Paddle Trail System is located, I'm suspecting somewhere in Virginia maybe, drop us a comment down in the uh, comment box below. 
Gabriel's paddling to the other side of the river. I'm going to check out the bank over here to uh, see if there's any places that we can kind of dock and get out easily onto the shoreline or up onto the bank. I'm going to eventually buy my own kayak. I'm thinking about the Ascend 128T, maybe the Yak Power. Or the, uh, and I'm, I'm probably going to end up getting the uh, Ascend H12, which is a kayak canoe hybrid, which I think will work pretty well out here because I'm able to carry a lot of gear. You know, what we carried last night and today is everything we'd need for. 48, 72 hours. Found a neat little spot to uh, pull up and take a break a minute. And I'm not real sure. This looks managed. So we're going to stay pretty near the shoreline. We don't, we don't want to trespass. I don't know whose land this is, but this, this doesn't look like anywhere we've been so far. So I'm going to stay pretty close to the shoreline. Just kind of stretch your legs a minute. But uh, this is a nice spot. Big fish. Guys, almost this entire trip, I've had a uh, little moth friend that just kind of hangs out and flies around my kayak. I don't know if he's eating something off my finger or if he's just staying there <laughs> or... I don't know, but he's been... Implanting government chips. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> but he's just been flying all around the kayak and, uh, yeah. Lands on me sometimes, so land on the plastic, land on my phone, stuff like that. I don't know, but uh, kind of cool. There huh? you have it, guys. Sometimes it'll land on my hat, like on the, right on the brim, and it'll just kind of look out. Not sure, but uh, yeah. He doesn't care if I paddle either. He'll just stay right there. Yeah. Kind of neat. See, he'll just kind of hang on. And that's the second one right up near the front. Right here, it's flying by. That'll kind of hang around. So, who knows? <laughs> See, I'm still on there. Uh -huh.
Alrighty, folks. Thank you for watching this video today. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Please share this video. Please drop a comment down below. Love to answer any questions or if you have any uh, advice or, you know, anything you'd like to drop down there. We're willing to talk to you. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for watching this video. Happy 4th of July. We live in the best country on earth and uh, we're just blessed, you know, to be able to come out here on free waters and sail around as we wish. It's just nothing better than this guys so thank you for watching this video and as always may the wings of liberty never lose a feather and god bless